YouTube, it's Val. I uh, hope you guys are having a good week, good middle of your week, Wednesday. I wanted to come in here really quick today and show you some stuff I picked up from ColourPop. I got some new things that launched uh, because right after I placed my first order, they were like, oh, new palette just launched. And I was like, oh my god. So I picked that up, obviously. So I'm going to talk about the new things that I picked up from ColourPop first, and then I'm going to talk about the other things that I got on sale or as kits or whatever have you. So if you're interested in seeing what I got from ColourPop, go ahead and keep watching. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Thank you so much. So ColourPop, pardon me while I uh, mosey around in my goodies. I got two boxes. The first thing I want to talk about, which I am the most excited about, honestly, and this might seem a little crazy, their I Think I Love You palette. And the reason I'm excited about this is because I've never actually had a palette from ColourPop before. I have no idea how their pressed powder eyeshadows are, so I'm pretty stoked about this. So right off the bat, this is super cute packaging. I'm totally in love with this. It just says ColourPop. It's like a rose gold. And on the back, which really useful for tutorials and like showing people, you know, like whatever, each color has a name on it. So it, it, shows you what's in here. In the palette, no mirror, but that's okay. I don't really need one of those. And then in here, you've got all your colors. So I'm gonna, there you go. You can probably see it better that way. So this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do some swatches. Let's just do some swatches. From here to here, we'll swatch those. Oh man, that matte color is like super creamy. It looks like there'll be a little bit of kickback, but that's totes fine. Like I'm totally okay with that. So swatching. Oh my god. That's awkward. Let me do this. That's probably still awkward, but again, we're gonna just go with it. So this color already, I'm just gonna tell you, this like bronze, copper, red, penny looking color reminds me a lot of Fireball from Urban Decay. Absolutely freaking flawless. This color is like a, it's like a taupey brown, but there's definitely some purple shift happening underneath. I don't know what that's about, but obviously we can appreciate that. Moving right along here. Next row, second row here. Oh my uh, the white one I'm not like super in love with, but it's okay. Um, let's go again. Here we go. Oh my god. <gasps> that color. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look. It's like snow white frost. Like that is really pigmented. I am like cannot even words. There are none. I don't have any of those for this. I just, this is called Let's Do It. Oh my god, so cute. Okay, yeah, hello. You're a winner. That's like true gold. That's like gold bar. That's like, holy crap. Yes. Yes and yes. Yes again. Yes all day. Yes. Holy Hannah. Look at the, oh my god. Like this one, I'm all about that color. That's like, that's like true rose gold. Like I, I just cannot wait to use that. Super excited. Super excited. So as far as longevity, obviously I don't know how these are gonna stand up because I've never used them before. But again, one more little color visual for you here and then we'll move on to the next exciting thing that I picked up. Can't wait. I'm gonna do a separate video with this, I think, for sure. I'm definitely gonna do like a demo, get ready with me, whatever. If y'all wanna see it, just hit that subscribe button. Did I mention, super quick, did I mention this is only $16? $16. The next thing I wanted to talk about that I got that was new-ish, I don't know how new, I feel like maybe a couple of weeks ago. This is the pressed powder face. Well, this is the box. Hold on, let's get this out of here for you. This color I picked up was... What the hell? So that's interesting. The color is not listed on the actual compact itself. That's a little frustrating. Oh, it's called Total Package. So I picked this one up because it reminded me a lot of like a rose gold version of Opal. I'm sure there's one out there that Becca has made actually that would fit that bill entirely. I'm gonna swatch it for you. Oh, hello. That's beautiful. This actually looks a lot like that last swatch I did, that rose gold swatch that I did from the actual palette that just launched. Interesting, I think, a little bit. That's beautiful, that's very wearable. You could wear this as like a, a, high, a higher sitting blush instead of a highlighter. You could probably get a lot of, you could pack it on there for sure. This is a really good formulation. I'm actually really, like in love with this. If you hear snoring, it's my dog. He's sleeping right in front of me. He's very tired. Moving right along. This is awesome. As far as packaging goes, they do have obviously a mirror right here. You can see that. And it comes with a little film strip. 
so obviously I have to take that off because that's really satisfying. I am impressed with, I think, more than anything about this, the size of the highlighter that's in here. I think this is $8. It's six and a half grams, which is a half gram smaller than the bronzer for whatever reason. But I, again, I, I don't know enough about this yet to really give you a full in-depth opinion. So I will include this in my demo, get ready with me upcoming video with that other palette that I just picked up. Last thing that's new, newer, new-ish, newer, the newest that I picked up from ColourPop is the Brow Boss. And I saw this and I was like, oh my God, that's gonna be like the Brow Wiz. I'm so stoked, like, oh my Gershwin. I've been wanting a more affordable dupe for the Brow Wiz for a very long time. And I picked up the NYX one from CVS and I was like, oh my God, this is like totally acceptable. However, I closed it one day and it, it like literally broke, like the package itself, like the container broke in half. And I was like, this is not happening in my life, oh my God. But needless to say, I haven't had a Brow Wiz dupe that I feel is good enough to not have to pay the $20 for the Anastasia one. So this is Inter Colourpop Brow Boss. This color is dark brown. Yes. Hello. He hello. So a little swatch for you. Okay, not super impressed with the formulation. I don't know about that. That seems extraordinarily chalky and I don't know that it's gonna give me what I need in my brow pencil. However, there is this amazing spoolie, very much like the Brow Wiz one. Is my hair falling down? That's exciting. Again, we'll use this in the demo and we'll really have a real opinion of this because I've already done my brows as you can see, so I don't need to use this right now. Going forward. Okay, so the first things I want to open up as far as my haul, like the actual, like the sales stuff that I got, and I was like, oh my god! Like, just so much makeup, I'm excited. So in the first package that ColourPop sent me, they included a free Gen I'm ColourPop Lippy Pencil. This is in Dohi, I think. Normally I wouldn't pick this color because it's it's very, very, very bright. This is like a bright coral peach. Yeah, like legit bright, like so bright. But it's matte and I actually really love this color. Like I love this color. So I was so glad, again, to get something out of my comfort zone that I could play around with. But also I didn't pay anything for this, so that worked out. Next thing that I got, Grazie from ColourPop, was this cream gel liner. It's called DTLA, which I believe means downtown LA. And it's really like a nice deep navy blue kind of color. And I've, I didn't get any of their cream gel. Oh, hello. Oh, these two colors look so cute together. Oh my God. This reminds me of like a Target ad for the summer. Oh my God, I love that. This, their cream liners I've been really curious about, honestly, like let's just be honest. I didn't ever get any of them and I always wanted to, so now I can try it out. I'm excited about that. Oh, okay, so also as part of the, the when I ordered this, it was like over Labor Day weekend, I believe. I mean, this has been a hot minute. I've been waiting to get this stuff. They gave you, like if you spend a certain amount of money, they gave you like a free item, whatever. So I got the, well, I don't know what this is. Uh, high five, super, super. Super shock cheek. I swatched this on my daughter last night. Actually, I did her makeup, so I did I did see this already. I will. Oh, it's so fluffy. It's so pretty. Oh my god. The next thing is the ultra matte lip in take five. I haven't. I don't think I've seen this one yet. No, I have not. So this looks like almost every other color in my lipstick collection already. So what I'm gonna do is not open it because I'm gonna be using it in a giveaway that's coming up super soon. So I'm not gonna use this. In fact, I'm gonna put it in my vanity right now with the rest of my giveaway items. Next thing, so excited about this because obviously peaches are in. This is not new. This came out quite a while ago and when it launched, I was like, Valerie, get that, oh please. And I never did, obvs. But now I have it and it was on sale. So this is the Peachy Keen Quad Collection. And I did use a few of these last night on my daughter. She wanted me to do her makeup, so I did, and it was fun. And I've noticed that with these colors, three of them are matte and one of them is shimmer. So I'll go with the shimmer first. This one is called Crimper. Now, I feel like I own this already. I, th I think I own this specific color already. Very, just a basic gold shimmery. There's a little bit of glitter in it. This next color is Cornelius. I am in love with this eyeshadow. Like, I cannot even express to you enough how much I love this color. It reminds me a lot of that second color that we swatched in the I Think I Love You palette. Like, it's almost exactly the same. So what I'm gonna ultimately do is use this as a base and then layer it up. I love it so much. Oh, this color I did not use yesterday, so I'm curious. Really beautiful peachy. I would use this as an eyeliner, honestly. This is called Kennedy, 
and this is also a matte. Yeah, that's Gorge. It's not as pigmented as you would think it would be though. It's quite uh, light. Like it doesn't have a whole lot of transfer power, I don't know. And then the final color in this quad is called Bandit, and this is also matte. I think I mentioned that already though. We're not gonna talk about it, it's fine. Beautiful, it, it almost looks like a brownie, like real talk. That's absolutely gorgeous. Like I cannot even. So that's a really good little quad, honestly. Like if you've never tried ColourPop shadows, I would recommend getting a little tiny set so you can get colors that coordinate with each other and that work well and complement one another because then you can kind of, I mean, if all else fails, at least you've got colors that work together. You know what I mean? If you don't like the formulation, you can at least have a little party with them. Next thing on my list, so this is going to be a little, um, I'm not going to actually swatch these, I don't think. I'll swatch a, a couple of the lippies, but these I'm not going to. Um, mixed Finish Lip Collection, this is phase two, and the colors are Curtsy, Chandelier, and Fresh Cut. I will take them out so you can see them, but again, um, I believe Chandelier is going in my giveaway as well, because I think that this one looks like almost every other damn color that I own, except this is a little bit pinkier. So this is really gorgeous, like... I don't even want to open it because of sanitary reasons. But that's beautiful. And then the Ultra Matte Lip Fresh Cut. I think I'm going to keep this. No, this one's going in the giveaway. Fresh Cut is going in the giveaway. But like, look, you guys. The so right off the bat, these two, the difference is in formulation. There's the Ultra Satin and Ultra Matte OBS. Like, how much of a true difference is there? Like, I guess this is a little more on the pinky side. It's a little bit lighter. You know what I mean? I don't know. This I can't do in the giveaway because I used it on my daughter and she really loved it. This is called Curtsy and I'll swatch it for you because I do, I can make it. This is just the gloss, but it's super pigmented. So it kind of reads like a, like a liquid lip that just doesn't ever dry down really. Like it's super, that's a lot of pigment. I think for all three of those, I may have paid like $5. Like they were super on sale. So I was like, all right, well, I'll try it out. And I think going into it, I knew I would use some of them for the giveaway. So that worked out. Next, this is my favorite thing I have ever bought in my whole life, okay? It's called Hot to Trot Lippy to Go Collection, and it has five duos. You've got a lippy, <clears throat> excuse me, you've got a lippy pencil on one side, and then you flip it upside down, and you have your coordinating lippy pencil lippy stick that's what it's called so this is your lipstick on one side and then the lip, the lip liner on the other like i love this idea i always always take like a lip liner and a lip pencil and a lip pot and like there's just too much going on but these are wonderful but today i do want to tell you that my lipstick color that i'm using right now i am like the most obsessed with this that i've been ever in my whole life with anything like i don't even have to swatch it because it's on me already but i'll do it anyway this one is called Cookie and Skimpy, which initially I just put on the lip liner, like the lippy pencil I used originally and just kept that as my lip color. And then I was like, mm, well, I'll put this one on top. So I did and um, I love it just so much. Just so, so, so much. So this is definitely a fall color. This duo is, this duo is called LBB LBB. I still don't know what the hell that means. So I'm not going to try to figure it out. But this absolutely flawless formulation. This is definitely... I have heard in the past that with ColourPop products, it really depends on what color you ended up getting, whether or not the formulation is on fire or not. This is one of those where like, oh my god, yes, it's awesome. This is Bound and Cami, and that's right here. Absolutely love it so much. That's like an everyday color for me, let's be real. Like, I use that every day. And then these two are not so much every day, but definitely in my comfort zone, believe it or not, and I cannot wait to wear this red in a holiday video. Like, cannot wait, but also in real life, because, oh my god, that lip pencil is life. So these red guys, gorgeous, are uh, bossy and trust me. I already own Trust me, I think I got that in another kit a few few weeks back. This is called, and the last one is Dukes slash Chateau. And this is a little abrasive. Some people, not abrasive, but you know what I mean. Like some people would be like super intimidated by this color, but you can totally do it. Like it's just absolutely, like I, lo I love, love that color so much. Just love it so much. Can't say enough about it. Okay, so the last and final thing that I picked up from ColourPop during their Labor Day weekend sale is called this. Well, it's called On a Whim Mini Ultra Satin Lip Collection. Now, these are little babies. Like, they're really small. But because I have so much lipstick, I probably won't ever use them all. But oh my god. These are like, I don't know, I was just talking to somebody recently about packaging and how companies are really successful when their packaging reflects, like, I don't know, ambition. <laughs> these are like 
really, I don't know. There's just something about these that don't feel drugstore to me. They don't feel like, I don't know. I can't explain it. They're just, it's just nice. And I think because everything is packaged on its own, it's just, it's just nicer. But anywho, I'll just briefly, I'll swatch two of these for you because they are really hard to get off. Um, this color is really interesting. It's called Mess Around. This is like, like heather gray brown. Like what? It's crazy color. Oh, I'll just swatch them all. That's fine. Uh, Magic Wand. This is, I love this color so much. <clears throat> I feel like my voice is cracking and it's a little obnoxious. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dopey. This is like, I think this is one of their like cult classic colors. I'm pretty sure this is one of those ones that like, yeah, like, oh my God. But again, every other color I own and every lipstick that I've ever bought in my life. Like I could reach into my drawer right now and pull out four of that exact same color because I don't know, I just, I gravitate towards that like mauvey, purple, blue, whatever the hell. This is called Stud and I am really loving that like so much. I feel like I've said that about everything. I'm loving all this. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so great. But it really is so great. Colourpop makes hauls just exciting. Like uh, it's just really good stuff, you know? And this precious, it's called tulips, but it's spelled two as in, I want that too. Like we are here too. As in that's too much darkness for my lips. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to have to, we're going to have to like mosey around with that, play it, see how it goes. As I take this off, I will really quickly give you a wrap up of what I think. I, that's everything I got in case I didn't make that clear. Hello. I'm a little jumbled today. It's been a little crazy. I really love truly everything that I got right now as it stands. I love everything that I got immediately. It's a rarity for me to buy so many things from one company and not have really anything bad to say about it, which sounds a little negative perhaps, but I'm, I mean, I'm pretty harsh critic. I've got a lot of makeup. I don't really need to be getting any more. And the more and more I, I find myself spending my own money on these products and reviewing them and buying them and having them for my own enjoyment, I feel like I'm getting a little choicey with my purchases, you know what I mean? But ColourPop, I've, I'm always excited to get stuff from them. I've never not loved everything I've gotten, except for the brow pencil, right? That's the only thing I really think that I'm not going to be like totally jonesing about. I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed it a lot. If you guys have any of these items or if you purchased anything from the Labor Day sale weekend, please let me know what you got. I know there were like so many things and ultimately I think I got like not all of them obviously because they had a lot of things on that Labor Day sale. But if you guys got anything, let me know what you got for sure. I want to hear about it and let me know if you had a similar experience like, oh my god, loving all the things you got because they're just, yeah, I, I don't know what I was saying anymore. I don't even know what I was saying. I was just not probably not probably not saying a whole lot. Uh, anyway, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great day, great week. Um, yeah, okay, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great week, great weekend, and I'll see you on the flip side. Thank you.